Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension Byzantine Pythium. We're having rough times, ladies and gentlemen. Almost everyone in the world has declared war on us, except for the giant undead shambling army slowly taking over the world, and Alm. So, yeah. I mean, it's only a matter of time, right? And we have very porous and very long borders with many of these nations. With our two strongest armies far away from where the action is going to soon be happening here at Fort Wallace in Ivermark, I have half a mind to have them all just go behind the walls instead of fighting outside where I think they'll have a better chance at either waiting for reinforcements or holding off the giants. I would do so if I thought I had some magical summoning ability that could give me some extra units, but unfortunately I do not. I am close to my goal of evocation 4, and then I can go to conjuration if I don't choose instead to go to construction. Meanwhile, the one change I've made is I'm done with these Theurg artisans. I have one of each kind, fire, air, earth, water, and astral, so that's everything. So now I'm, I need Troops can actually do some business on the battlefield, so I'm back to recruiting my Theurgs, who are expensive but powerful. Any Theurg with just four communion slaves can boost up to four holy, which will allow them to cast Fanaticism, a battlefield-wide wide Sermon of Courage, which will benefit me against the undead who never rout, and Divine Blessing, which will allow all of my Vestals to be blessed while allowing my other priests to banish or do what else they need to do aside from Blessing. So that's kind of what I'm going for here, and hopefully I'll have an army that I can give King Midas fairly soon. We can only hope. Okay, no more. Nothing. Harispex. Nothing. Harispex. Nothing. Scalaria. Child Feaster the Bane. Yes, you know you're the bad guys when your name is Child Feaster. Solam. Okay, so it looks like they are not attacking our castle, which is fantastic, but they are attacking a province where I have very little defense, which is the opposite of fantastic. I mean, all things considered, it's the least of evils, but still. This was a plains province, I believe, and there was some money here. Money that I desperately need. Meanwhile, they are an unstoppable horde of crazy giants. These guys have defense of 15, protection of 12, so their protection's not intense, and they are starving, which is wonderful. Their morale is pretty cheap. I know that we're the good guys, but it might serve us to have a death mage just for the purposes of forging horror helms, which will scare our enemies. If for no other reason, that is a valuable addition to our force, and it's something that I've used in all of my LPs, and so I wouldn't, I'd wouldn't—I'd feel very bad not using it in this one. Okay, 17, 19. See, these guys are the toughies, and they get the bless too, which doesn't do much for them, but does give them an extra three hit points, taking them up to 56. Great. Wonderful. And they have a gore attack in addition to their sword. So these giants are bad times, as you can plainly see. I don't even think we, we managed to take out one of them. And we did not. Olfia. Oceania is... I, I just... It annoys me that all of these powers feel that we are the problem when there are giant shambling hordes of life-stealing undead running around, and yet, oh, let's attack Pythium, because, you know, they're dangerous. Oceania has fallen yet again. Okay, so, Scalaria, you're a bunch of jerks. We're taking you out. Jay, you are kind of feeling out where the borders of Ulm and Scalaria lie, because, frankly, I don't even know. There's Ulm here, Ulm here, Scalaria here. What, what's going on? I, I couldn't tell you. We might conquer this province, only to find this is all Ulm, and... We are stymied once again. We have a new gnome. Well, you know what that means. That means more gnome lore in the promised land. Hopefully that'll find us some cool sights. And we have another lizard. Do we have enough troops to do anything decent with King Midas? You know, we may just want to wait another turn. Also... Alcibiades here is another air. We're getting a lot of air randoms, but here we go. Um, oh gosh. No, actually, I'm going to wait till after the turn to do this because his name is so complicated that it'll take like 15 minutes just to type it in. 
All right, I think we're good enough here in terms of defense that I don't want to spend money on raising troops here, especially when I only have $292. Who was it? So he was telling me that, oh my gosh, your upkeep is nowhere near your income. Well, look what I end up with. 292. That is not going to hire me an army, and it's because of all of these troops that I'm hiring. But I need troops here, and just just basic ones, really. Just someone who could take out some giants. It would probably help me to get a mage, but if I bought him... I would then only have 92 gold left for everything else. Hmm. Which would get me eight of these guys, maybe? I don't know. An Acolyte Theurg is not really worth much. I He can make people ethereal, and that's about the limit. Hmm. Well... And actually, for giants, mace isn't worth anything. The spear would be nice, but we're spending so much money on their armor that's worthless because the giants will smash them, and they're old. Why do they have to be old? I don't know. What else could help hurt a giant? Can just a regular guy with a short sword is not going to do anything to a giant? Nothing at all. The cavalry can. 35 gold, 30 resources. 16, 29. Well, it's no deal, but 20 damage is not going to hurt the giants. It really isn't. They're just going to hold them steady. Frankly, I don't know what to do here. We don't have anything, really, that can damage giants. Composite bow. No. just That's already my resources gone down the toilet. I guess we can get more vestals. That's probably the thing I need to do, because they don't cost any resources. Leaving me with 72. That's fine, I guess. But certainly not not ideal. And we're surrounded by giants. Giants everywhere. Galerius, go back here. We do need to replace Cameo at some point. He will survive for another couple turns, but not forever. Eurelios, we're not going to build a temple with you. We can't even afford to do that. Not only we can't afford to build a lab or a temple down here in Bergamum either. Like Lictos, can you do? I think you can do site searching. Although I would like you to research. We can have these guys do that instead. Like for example, you can give your icon to Scamandros, and you can give your feather to Betubastis, just for right now. So now you can augury, which hopefully will yield some benefit. I'll have to take some time between turns to check places that I've already searched, let's say up to two, and get back in there with higher, because obviously there's only one side here and we've searched nearly everything. There's gotta be something else here. It's, it's well, it's plains, maybe not, but in like this forest province, who knows? Well, I mean, two, there might maybe three, four fire will help me out there. Otherwise, I guess you can continue to research until we have troops and you can go out with Midas. And another Theurg? Perhaps not. Um, maybe a researcher. That is pretty important. And boy, that sure leaves us a lot of resources, doesn't it? Um, Varangians. All the time. Hey, maybe the Pyrotes would help against the... against the Giants. The Pyro Staff would certainly be effective, but would it hit them, and would it do too much damage to my own guys? I don't know. What do they cost? 35? Oh, wow, 45 resources. They are expensive fellas. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, if I... I the, the idea was to put them in with my Vestals, uh, since, we, you know, the Vestals would uh, move at the same speed, and they wouldn't hurt my regular troops, but, I mean, these things will kill like five Vestals in a row. I mean, they're Armor piercing 10, 9 in a area of effect of 2. I just don't know. No, I guess we'll go with them and we'll go with more Varangians. Up to the point where we don't have any more. Okay. Alright, so Ermor maintains the peace. I know that they're slowly killing people, but not in my territory quite so much. 
Outside of my territory, yes. Marignan is doing nothing. I mean, I... What is wrong with these people? They know Sclera's... I mean, Sclera's at war with me. They must be at war with them, too, since we're allies. So what are you doing? Do something. Help us out. All right. Things are just looking bleak. Bleaker and bleaker here in Ivermark at Fort Wallace. Maybe... No, that was worthless. One of those guys is not going to do anything for us. We just need to swarm the giants. Wait, we have light infantry? Oh, militia, I see. Um, you're 10 gold, 10 resources. 10 gold, 20 resources. Well, cheapies it is. You guys are going to stay here. With both these guys preaching, we're still not able to fight off the evil dominion of Oceania. That's a testament to how strong those preachers are. We just have too many fights to fight. I mean... We're not too far away from eliminating Oceania, except for we can't get underwater. So really, the only province of theirs we can take is this one, and then these three will stay. And this one's the one I'm most concerned about, because it's right in the middle of all my lands. And any of these guys can at any time get up and attack on land, although the Kraken cannot. The, the Ictisators, the Aphroids, and the Ictisentaurs can. Why can't they fight with Ashdod? Oh boy. Well, whatever. Went to, oops, that's not what I want to do. Should we do construction to four, which would get us a lot more good items, but it would take... No, we need... What we need is summons. We need summons. What, what can we have? We can summon... Gosh, not much, huh? Most of them require multiple paths, and our guys only have strength in one. So our gnomes would be stronger in battle if we send them to battle. Someone said summon a cave crab, but I need water and earth. That would be difficult to put together. Maybe my alchemists? Otherwise, I don't get anything that my regular troops can summon until level 4. And then I can have wyverns, griffins, sharks are worthless to me, ice drakes. Cave drakes. That's pretty much it until level 5 where the harbinger is. Okay. Okay. No news is good news. Let's see how things go. All right. A lot going on. Gnome lore, found nothing. Gnome lore, found nothing. Hard specs, found nothing. Argury, we found a site. Oh, thank goodness. A Fizabor. They are trying once again. Last time we checked, they didn't have much. They still don't have much. Boom! Taste alchemists! Oh, I love it. Give these guys something that increases their... Oh, well. I love it before we engage in melee. And our vessels are finally entering the scene. Doing what they need to do. I think we might have taken this without losing anyone. And I'm correct. Yay. Alright, here is our counterattack against Scalaria. We have Varangians in the front, Vestals to the north, and Varangians to the south. We also have Mr. Banshee, who is leading them. This is a rather large army, but mostly province defense. I don't think they're Varangian capable, but we'll see. You know, Tokshin does this thing where it shows... There we go. What is this? It's letter C. Okay. So now you can kind of see who my guys are and who their guys are. I kind of like that. And my Varangians are getting to the back. Taking out the Slingers. Pure chaos. But the good kind of chaos that I think we're going to win. And we are. Good night, fellas. Okay. Well, it's nice to see a victory once in a while. We lost 16 Varangian guards, however. Although, let's be honest, that's all we had, except for some Vestals, which we also lost seven. So, I mean, we have, we, have, we had to lose somebody. And they lost nothing, simply because that was all province offense. Wow, they must have put some money in there. Mountains of Madness. Okay, so I see what they're doing. They're trying to go around. And... If I had any 
halfway decent promise defense here, they would not succeed. Oh my. So which is five giants, they basically took this whole province with no trouble whatsoever. That is ridiculous. Finally, finally my allies are getting involved. And what a force. Look at all this cav. Flagellants, Pikeneers, some crazy dude with a banjo. A troubadour. Oh, I've seen those before. Man has those. They seduce women commanders, of which there are like five in the entire game. And we have a paladin. That's what we need. That's what we need. Paladins. We need paladins all over the place. A high inquisitor, Charlemagne. And he's the high inquisitor. What's, what are you? You're just the inquisitor. You could tell because the high inquisitor has a pointy hat. And another troubadour. We are going to make the undead fall in love with us. Brilliant. Brilliant! We need more paladins. You know, the funny thing is, every time I play an RPG where you get to pick a class, I'm always a paladin. I know, I know. In, in like actual, I've heard that in actual real games, paladins are pain in the butt. But I only, pay, I only play computer role-playing games, so I don't have to worry about annoying anyone else. Ooh, two fire gems, fantastic. All right, we took out one of their... I want to see, is their scout a giant scout? That would be interesting. He is! Hello! Hello, giant scout. How exactly were you trying to be inconspicuous? You don't really blend, if you know what I mean. And hit javelins to the face. Uh, oh, and he's going to survive, isn't he? He's going to survive. Nope, nope. Mind burn him! Yeah! What did you get for scouting us out, fella? Okay, so nope, there is more Scalaria, but it will lead us to being next to Ulm's capital, which might aggravate them. What do we have here? Not much of anything. Alright. Can we... We're just so kind of trapped here. Everywhere we go takes movement points. I don't want to declare war on Ulm, but that would be the easiest way to get to get up to Ashdod. Otherwise, it's going to go one, two, three, four, at least five turns before this army can even do anything. I wouldn't mind letting Ulm have this. I don't know if they're at peace with Scalaria or what, but they can't be. How else would Scalaria have taken over this province if not from Ulm? Jay, let's take you up here. Okay, Emperor, meanwhile, Emperor Burnsaber and Tolmac are just sitting here wasting everyone's time. Something must be done. Then watch, the minute we move away, Ermor is going to declare war. I just know it. Look at them. They're everywhere, and their dominion is touching us. Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Burnsaber, you are going to Divine Bless, certainly. But after that, you are going to... Fanaticism... And then body ethereal's fine. We don't need... Well, misform is really good. Do we need air shield? I don't think we need air shield. They don't have archers of the dead. At least I don't I don't see any. So, misform. And then... Since we're going up against the dead, we're gonna... Vanish. Cast spells. All right. So here's where things get crazy. Now, maybe some of you can help me out here. Tell me in the comments, if you have, say, four communion slaves, but two masters, do each of the masters get the benefit? Like, do they each get plus two to their paths? And will a spell cast by one master affect not only the slaves, but the other master? So if I have one master casting body ethereal and the other master casting quickness, Will everyone get body ethereal and quickness, or just the slaves and whichever master casts the spell? Let me know. If you know, I'd love to I'd love to hear it. Okay, Ninazu, you're just kind of hanging out. We need to do something about that. We need to get you to... What can you do? Well, let's get you to etherealize and protect... And then you are also going to... Oh, you're not a... That's right, you're not a priest. 
Hmm. Starfires. No. Oh, okay, solar rays, but he needs... Hmm, I get it. I get it. More protection then, I guess. Oop, no, no, not a large. Okay. Cast, cast spells. And let's throw you by some Vestals. We'll get you up with the northern group. Okay. Alright. This could be idiocy of the highest order, but Emperor Burnsaber is going to war next turn. Okay. Meanwhile, let's spend all of our money here, because this is where we desperately need it. Let's get a Theurg, who can mine burn some giants, and then some Vestals, of course. And the cheapies, like I said, because none of our troops can really hurt the giants anyway, so might as well save the gold. Since they seem to be so keen on attacking here, let's get some more Vestals here as well. And that's all, all we're getting, I guess. We're out of gold. We have no money whatsoever. Even though we're getting a thousand gold a turn, it's all going... Well, I guess it's all going to Varangians and, and Vestals. Which actually sounds like the name of a really cool restaurant, right? Yeah, I'm going to Varangians and Vestals to get me some chicken wings. Okay. Are we still recruiting alchemists? Yep, that's good. Oh, what a surprise. Another one with some crazy wound. Weekend. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care about that. Alright, so we are for evocation. Now let's go up conjuration. We need to be saved by an angel. Yes, I know. That was incredibly cheesy. Oh, and gnomes are expensive, too. Maybe that's part of the reason. And Uriolos, I want you to build a temple. I really do, but we can't afford it. So for right now, just do some research. I would love to have these two research, but I guess right now they're doing the best they can patrolling. And Tinnit, you're going to patrol as well. I don't know why you weren't. You're going to etherealize some... Come on, Tinnit. Oh, you're already there. Whatever. Okay. More Vestals. The General Wallace. And more Cheapy Cheapies. Cameo is still kicking, which is good. We need him still. And Lil Gabla blah, blah 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 is just minding his business with Manelos, Manelianos, who is going to patrol. Oh no, friend. Nobody around here just sits around. Let's see, you have fire and astral, huh? What can we do with you? Combustion is fun, but I think a lot of these fire giants are fire resistant. Now, star fires will fatigue them. Magic Duel will not bode well for you. So really, you can either help our troops, or you can fatigue the enemy. That's the limit of what you're capable of here, because fire darts is ridiculous. Hmm. Can't even mind burn, huh? Bonds of fire? Shackles of fire? One person? Well, there's not that many giants. He could be a communion slave, I guess, which would give Cameo nothing, just some extra fatigue. I would need two of them to give him three Astral, three Fire. Here's what he can do. He could bless while Cameo does much more important things. Cameo can... Let's see, is Paralyze more effective for us, or Mind Burn? Or Fireball? Area Effect 1... Precision 1, 16 armor piercing, fire damage. Maybe. Arcane bolt, harmless for humans. Doesn't say giants. <laughs> it doesn't say it's harmless for giants. Uh, immolation is close range, I guess. Yeah. Gosh. We don't have a lot to do. How about fireball? Fireball. And then we can 100 range, 100 precision, armor negating, paralyze, whereas this is 12 damage, armor negating, 
Giants have like 60 hit points. So what exactly is 12 damage going to do to them? Not a whole heck of a lot. Alright, Cameo. You can, you can try to paralyze them to give our troops an edge. Meanwhile, Logo blah 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 is going to stay where he is, but Menelos is going to bless. Menelos, the fresh maker. Or not banish, bless. And why not a third bless? We have quite a lot of vessels. And then he could start... He could start, I don't know, combusting them. It's not great, folks, but it's what we're reduced to. And the vessels are down here. Alright, meanwhile everyone's patrolling. Okay. We have to decide what to do with these guys. Besides not put defense in the province they're in. Ugh. Ten, really? Well. I just uh, see, I see no benefit in antagonizing Ulm. But watch, they'll declare war on us next turn. Oh well. Research is good. Galerius is not doing anything. King Midas is unfortunately not doing anything. You know, King Midas, he needs something to fight with. So... Where's our fire guy? Falkies. Will you forge him? Yep, forge him that. And anything else he could use? Can you forge anything useful? No, just the research bonus he won. Ring of water breathing, ring of frost. Cold resistance? Eh. Nope, you can't do anything. Carpathos? Air shield and luck. Well, I mean that's not terrible. But we need we need to save our gems, or at least our air gems. Nope. All right. Well, that's enough. Ishkur research. All right. Emperor burn sabers on his way. Etionos. I would like him to build a lab, but you know, no money. So in the meantime, let's just join them join the army. Justinian and Severus, well, Justinian can go up here, get some troops. Severus is going to hang out here, I guess. And that, as they say, is that. Okay. Gnome lore. New two magic fights. Excellent. Excellent. Harspex, nothing. Harspex, nothing. Augury, nothing. All right, Marignan is finally starting to earn their keep against Scalaria. Ermor is still at peace with all of us. Who are you? You're blue. You're a hydromancer, and your name is Sog. That is very appropriate. And you are fighting Ichthyids, so perhaps that means that you will be able to fight Ermor under the sea once you can recruit these guys. Hooray! Our allies are worth something. Apernia. Maybe combined we can take on Scalaria. Ooh, is this another paladin? No, he's just a knight of the chalice. Are you a paladin? Yes, you are. Taste our steel, undead hordes. Actually, not a lot of undead in this particular army. Ooh. All those flames everywhere. Very nice. Pikemen are running. This is crazy. Where's all this flame coming from? Oh, fire elementals. I get it. Okay. They didn't have it as easy in this one. They lost 13 guys, but still, here they lost one royal guard. Nice. All right. So, whoa. 300 enemy units. Oh boy. We might need these guys just to protect us against that. 
We are we are in desperate trouble. We have no money whatsoever, none. And it's nothing's it's not getting any better. Now if we attack Ermor right now, if we attack them, that will give this giant group free reign to attack us. Now, they may be coming for us anyway. They may be. Or they may be coming after Scalaria. Who really knows? But it, it makes me worry. And here's where we found gem deposit, 75 gold, though much needed, and some earth. Hmm. Life is tough and difficult for us. Home seems to be remaining peaceful. We somehow can't manage to get our... Whoa! Oh, I get it. These are the these are what the minotaurs look like when they're underwater. When they're underwater, they have big tails, and they probably cannot trample. But they're going to attack someone, and I highly doubt it's going to be the giants. So what do we have here now? We have Depiros. No, you're not researching. You are patrolling, and you are air, huh? So. You are going to... Oh, Cameo is still alive, too. You are going to misform yourself. And then... No Thunderstrike, unfortunately. But I guess we can Lightning Bolt the Giants. I mean, Lightning Bolt, 14 Armor Negating, Minor Stun Shock, versus 12 Armor Negating. But you can't resist a Lightning Bolt. And you can resist this Steel Breath. 40 stun, magic resistance negates. Hmm. I guess lightning bolt really is the way to go. Would aim be useful at all? I suppose. I mean, lightning bolt is uh, not the most glamorous spell for our premier casters to cast, but... Oh, no, that's Cameo. We don't want to move Cameo. Add these guys to the front, and more Vestals. You can never have too many. Alright, well, folks, that's just, this is where we're going to call it an end. I'll do some naming between turns. Although, if you're unfortunate enough to be named up here, you probably won't be lasting all too long. We, we, things look really bad. Let's just be honest. Things look really, really bad. We are, we are completely outnumbered. We are at war with pretty much everybody. We have no money whatsoever. And yeah, I mean, I mean, we have giants in the north. We have an army we can't touch here under the water in the lake. We have this undead, just behemoth mass of evil here that's, that's killing everything. Though luckily my lands remain safe with the exception of Rotmarsh, who's... Uh, yeah, not doing so well, but... And then they're, they're coming here, too. And they should be, hopefully, fighting Ashdod at some point. That would be very helpful. And they're building... And, of course, they know, apparently, that they are impervious underwater for right now. So they are building castles underwater, which is actually very smart of them. Very smart, indeed. Scalaria seems to be being beaten back. Oh, there, there's their um, Shadow Vessels, which are tough customers. They have Gedrus the Assassin. Yeah, they have Assassins too, which I gotta watch out for. I'm not worried about Burn Saber because he has those Varangians, but my other guys better be careful. Alley Legionnaires. We have those. They're not that good. Oh, if Marignan could push them out of this peninsula, that would be awesome. And then we can attack them from here. That would be glorious. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.